Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Weekly Energy for November 28th to December 4th. <clears throat> and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better. Just by liking, subscribing, and watching my videos all the way through, I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. All right, so we have... The Six of Cups, Memories of Love. And what is that crossed by? Rejoice in Celebration, which is Three of Cups. All right. Let's see. Look at these. All right, so what is the foundation of the situation? We have the Knight of Swords. I feel like there may be some memories that you're holding on to and that's not allowing you to move forward. All right, what is the passing influences? We have the Nine of Pentacles, so I feel like that's it. it Whatever it is that you're holding on to, these memories that you're holding on to, it's stopping forward progress and it's stopping you from really having this this three of cups, feeling happy, feeling you know good and and being in a good place. There's something that you're holding on to. What is the immediate future energies? What is the immediate future energies? Okay, we have the two of wands. And that's, again, moving forward, taking those steps to move forward to release those things that you may, those memories that you are holding on to. All right, what is the future energies? We have two of pentacles. So I feel like that brings you more balance. Oh, girls. I swear they know when I hit the record button. <laughs> okay. I feel that um, by moving forward and releasing these things and not holding on to these energies, I feel like you'll feel more balanced and I feel like it will help in other areas of your life. All right, what is the environment? We have, yeah, Queen of Swords moving past something. Strengths. What is the strengths? <clears throat> All right. Strengths. I feel like the strengths is being able to figure out and see what it is that you need to do in order to move forward. Like I feel like you know what it is that you have to do, but I feel like it's almost like putting that in action, like in actually doing it. And you know that you're, you know, holding yourself back and that you're hanging on to something that you really have to move past. Thoughts and concerns is that it's emotional, you know, it's just like sometimes, you know, in order to move past something like you, you just maybe you have to have to have a good cry or you or you just get really emotional or you're just you know it's 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 an emotional thing and sometimes it's like oh, I don't want to deal with that I want I don't really want to you know go there I really don't want to know how I feel I really don't want to go through those emotions but it's like that it just keeps building up until you're able to let that go and of course you know who wants to go through those emotions but I feel like if you don't deal with it like eventually it's just going to come out on its own and then for outcome we have success and victory feeling happier feeling better feeling lighter um, so this message is for that person that's holding on to those things that you know you have to deal with and that it's going to be emotional but by letting that go and releasing it and working through it that you know you've got this 
Nine of Cups, you've got this new start and you're feeling more balanced, you know, in different areas of your life. I feel like you don't really realize how much this hanging on to this is affecting you. I feel like you're not really realizing that. I feel like you know that it's something that you have to take care of and you have to deal with and you don't want to go through those emotions. Um, obviously, I'm not telling you that this that you have to do this. This is a choice. You know, this is you need to do what is best for you. But this reading is for that person you know, um, that you know you're holding on to things and you don't want to deal with it, but I feel like it is affecting you. It's affecting your happiness. Um, and it's, once you do that, you have the Six of Wands, which is that success and victory of feeling lighter and feeling better. Um, all right, let's see. For some reason, I'm drawn to the empowering questions. So let's get one of these. Ah. All right. Final message for Capricorn for this week, empowering question. Wow. All right. These two literally came flying out. <laughs> All right, we have who or what defines the contents of my life? You know, is this hanging on to the memories? Like, is that defining what's going on in your life? Okay. Um, and then what was I intended to do in this life? Those are some pretty powerful questions there. You know, those are some big questions there. And, you know, maybe, maybe you're stopping yourself from doing what you were intended to because you're hanging on to whatever this memories of love is that you're hanging on to. Okay. Maybe that's stopping you from, you know, doing things that, you know, you were intended to do. Um, so definitely something to look at. Let's see, let's get a fortune reading card and close it out. It's tough, it's tough going through the emotional stuff, you know. It's tough, but I feel, I personally feel like every time I go through that emotional stuff, I feel another weight is lifted off my back and lifted off my shoulders and I feel better and I feel happier and I feel like, okay, I went through that, I processed it, it's over, it's done, I can put that behind me and I can move forward. All right, so let's get a fortune reading card to close this weekly reading out. Luck, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead, and I feel like this one too. Dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection and spirit. Have confidence that you're moving forward. Have confidence that you're moving to better things. Have confidence that once you let this, this energy go, you know, that that's not going to be affecting the other areas of your life and that you're going to feel more balanced, that you're not going to, you know, I feel, I feel like a lot of times people hold on to energies that they don't even realize are affecting them. You know, and they're and you're like, oh, that's not really bothering me, but I feel like it does affect, you know, it does affect you and it does affect how you're feeling and that it's time to face, you know, maybe that such one of those situations where you can change that up and feel lighter and feel better. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.